In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to determine the limiting reactant given the amounts of the reactants uh, in the given reaction here. So in the given reaction, we have two molecules of hydrogen reacting with one molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of water. The amounts given respectively are 2.00 grams of uh, hydrogen and uh, 4.80 grams of oxygen. So we need to know how much water is produced uh, based on the reactants as given. Now let's look at this from uh, the amounts of hydrogen molecule or hydrogen gas. Okay, we are given 2.00 grams of H2. Okay, when we are given some amounts in grams, if we divide that amount by the molar mass, we will get the number of moles of that gas in the two grams. Okay, so the molar mass of uh, hydrogen gas is taken as 2.02 grams of hydrogen per mole of hydrogen. Because each hydrogen has atomic mass of 1.01 .01, rounded to two significant figures or two decimal places. There are two hydrogen atoms in the molecule, so we have 2.02 gram per mole of hydrogen. Now, given these values, we can get the amount of uh, the moles, okay, in terms of moles, amount of uh, hydrogen. And we have a balanced reaction equation where two moles of hydrogen. Two moles of hydrogen gas produces two moles of water. Okay, two moles of hydrogen produces two moles of water. Okay, and that should be uh, considered when we calculate the amount of water that can be formed from the given amount of uh, the gas, hydrogen gas. Once we have this, we need to multiply that with the molar mass of water. So H2O has a, a molar mass of 18.0 grams per mole, okay, per mole of water. So this is how we set up the solution map. Now we can go ahead and cancel the units. Okay, gram H2, gram H2 can be cancelled. Mole hydrogen and mole hydrogen can be cancelled. Also number two in the denominator and the numerator can be cancelled. So 2 by 2 is 1. So we have a mole H2O, mole H2O that can be cancelled. So we have 18.0 grams of water as the uh, unit that's remaining and we have to include the number 2 from the 2 grams of hydrogen and the 2.02 as the number in the denominator to get the value. Okay, let's bring up a calculator and do the math. 18 times 2 divided by 2.02. .02. We have 17.82178. We need to round this off to two significant figures. Everywhere we have three, three significant figures. So we need to round this off to three. 17.8 so drop everything beyond 2. So we are getting 17.8 grams of water. Let's look at the same kind of scenario with respect to uh, the amount of oxygen which is 4.8 grams. Okay uh, let's do that. 4.80 grams of oxygen and you divide that by the molar mass of oxygen, so that is one mole of oxygen has 32.0 grams of oxygen. Okay, and again, in the given uh, balanced reaction equation, we have one mole. Okay, even though we don't have any number, we need to assume that there is one as the coefficient in front of water uh, in front of oxygen. So this one mole of oxygen produces two moles of water, okay? So that means two moles of water is produced by the consumption of one mole of O2.
okay? And multiply the whole value that we get here by the molar mass of water, like we did earlier here. 18.0 grams of water over one mole of water. That's the molar mass of water, okay? All right. Now, let's go ahead and try canceling out the units. So, gram oxygen, gram oxygen can be crossed. Mole O2, mole O2 can be crossed. So, we still have the number 2 in the, denom in the numerator because this is only divided by 1. So, we still keep the 2. And uh, finally, we cross the mole water and mole water. We have 4.80 times 2 times 18.0 grams of water divided by 32.0. So that should give you 18 times 2 times 4.8. 172.8 divided by 32 should give us 5.4 grams. Okay, so these Numbers have three significant figures, so we need to give this value in three significant figures, so 5.40 grams. 5.40 grams of water. Now, based on the hydrogen, we get 17.8 grams of water. Based on the amount of oxygen gas, we get 5.40 grams. So this is the smallest. So the oxygen is the one that's going to determine the yield. You cannot get anything more than what you have originally to start with in terms of the amount of oxygen. Even though numerically 2 appears to be smaller than 4.80, in terms of the moles, the moles that we get from here, from 4.80 of oxygen because of the larger molecular weight or the molar mass of oxygen, the amount of oxygen available in this reaction is smaller than the amount of hydrogen available in this reaction. So the formation or the yield of water is going to be determined by the amount of one substance between the two that present in lower concentrations, okay, lower amounts in terms of the moles. Okay? Therefore, the limiting reagent or limiting reactant is oxygen because that's present in smaller amount that gets used up first right and then once everything is used up there is no more oxygen available for further reacting with the hydrogen which is present in excess in this case so we cannot get any more of water than what we can get with the 4.80 grams which is 5.40 grams of water 